I am proud to be standing here with a bipartisan group of community leaders who oppose the $1 billion sales tax increase, Measure E. Fresno State is just that. It's a state university. It's owned by the state of California. And the, the people of Fresno County should not be burdened with a tax increase to pay for improvements that the state should be doing of its own. Assemblyman Jim Patterson, who served our area for 12 years and now is finishing, has never entered a bill, not one time in 12 years. Has he ever entered a bill or anything else that could help Fresno State? Where the hell you been, Jim? I think Measure E would have obtained the support of the general public if it didn't have an oversight committee of insider cronies that were going to be paid $14 million to dole out billions of dollars of taxes. What could we do with that $14 million but instead pay seven people? I don't recall any oversight board of any local measure that pays any of the oversight committee. So we need to be wary. Um, this seems so wrong to me and a waste of our taxpayer money. There's plenty of opportunities for voluntary funding of Fresno State. They bring in lots of money through other voluntary contributions and as a libertarian that's the way I would prefer that Fresno State would get funded. But it is a state school, not a Fresno County school and it should not be funded by aggressive sales tax. Regressive sales tax means that the poorest pay as much or more as the wealthiest in the county. People who benefit from the, from the university donate to it. Who are the Carb brothers? Why haven't they given a dime to fix a stadium? Where are all the you know, NBA uh, superstars that we've generated locally that have benefited? Instead, they're asking my mom, a retired farm worker who's paying for coffee at Walmart, to pay more so that the next David Carr can come out of the stadium. I would issue a grade F to the administration uh, for transparency. Um, lack of transparency to engage the public, lack of transparency to bring all stakeholders to the table to have these really important conversations, but most importantly, an F grade for the financial burden that they're going to place upon low-income voters in Fresno County.